But this is the fourth month of the war since Russia invaded into Ukraine and Moscow has now spelled out new goals for its special military operation as it describes its invasion into Ukraine. Now, the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has said that the liberation of Ukraine's Donbas region is now an unconditional priority for Moscow. Speaking at a French television channel, Lavrov said the liberation of Donetsk and the Luhansk provinces, which Russia considers as independent states, is a priority for Moscow while other Ukrainian territories will have to decide their future on their own. This comes as Russia continues to shell the city of Severodonetsk, which is the largest city that Ukraine still controls in the Luhansk province. Constant shelling has also destroyed all of the critical infrastructure in the city. Witnesses have said that the city is now being bombed nearly 200 times per hour, as the Russian forces are trying to surround its remaining defenders. The Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that they are doing everything they can to try and hold off Russia's offensive. Russian attacks in Severodonetsk have already been destroyed the whole critical infrastructure of the city. 90% of the buildings are destroyed. More than two thirds of the living fund of the city is destroyed. There is no connection. Постійні обстріли. Захопити Сєвєродонецьк – це принципове завдання для окупаційного контингенту. І їм все одно, якою кількістю життів. Now, in a Facebook post, the Ukrainian forces in Donbas said that their forces had been on the defensive all day. Russian forces fired on 46 communities in Donbas, killing at least about three civilians and damaging 62 civilian buildings. The President Volodymyr Zelensky, meanwhile, visited the troops in the Kharkiv region. It is his first official trip outside of Kiev since the Russian invasion began back in February. Wearing a bulletproof vest, the President was seen surveying ruins in Kharkiv and also thanking the troops. He also sacked the local security chief for not defending the city. His visit comes as Russia has resumed shelling Kharkiv after two weeks of relative calm. Russian troops are gradually said to have been pushed back from its surrounding towns in April and May, prompting many civilians to return and metro operations to resume. But the city still remains within the firing range of the Russian forces and several loud explosions have been heard during Volodymyr Zelensky's visit. The invasion so far has killed thousands of people in Ukraine and has also displaced almost about 6.7 million people fleeing the war. Now, there are also 1,400 cases of alleged Russian war crimes that are being probed by Ukraine's Prosecutor General's office. Several Russian soldiers have pleaded guilty in cases of shelling Ukraine and also for killing civilians. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.